for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Welcome to our video tutorial series on the basics of CSS. Before we continue talking about how to write styles inside of CSS, I just wanted to mention one thing that is really important in your CSS documents, and that's adding comments. Now, my CSS document already has one comment right up here at the top, just that says CSS document. And Dreamweaver actually put that in there for me. But you can add whatever comments you want to your CSS document. And this can be really valuable for keeping yourself organized or reminding yourself where um, particular fonts are used in. Um, particularly when we're talking about ID styles and class styles more than tag styles. But you can put a comment in simply by going anywhere in a CSS sheet, typing a slash, and then an asterisk. And that actually opens your comment. Now you're going to notice that comments automatically gray out. And you saw that with the CSS statement right there. If I delete that asterisk, you'll see the color coding comes back into life. And in Dreamweaver, you're always going to get comments that are going to be in gray. Selectors and punctuation are always in this fuchsia purple color. And properties and values are always going to be in this blue value. But anyway, I'm going to come back up here to my slash and type a, an asterisk. And because I haven't closed my comment, Dreamweaver is assuming everything below it is a comment. But we'll fix that really quickly. And I'm just going to type tag styles section. Just a little note to myself that that's where tag styles go. And then I'm going to type an asterisk and a closing slash. And that ends my comment. And you'll see the rest of my styles come back to life. If you, um, and you'll, I'm going to go ahead and save this. And then go back into basic HTML and you'll see my styles are still there. However, if I was to have left off that closing statement there, and Dreamweaver continues to assume, or the browser would continue to assume all this is comments. Now when I come to basic HTML, you'll see I lose my styles. So that's sort of the long way of saying if you can't see styles or if styles aren't applying, look at your comments and make sure that you haven't accidentally closed one or forgotten to close one. So I'll go ahead and add that closing mark back on, save it, and come back into my document and you'll see my heading styles have been restored. I'm going to come down I'm going to make one more heading style down here at the bottom. I'm going to call, or I'm sorry, not heading style, I'm going to put in one more comment. Because in our next video, we're going to learn how to write class styles. So I'm going to create a section here for me to place my class styles in. So again, comments, very useful for documenting and creating sections inside of your CSS sheet. And I'm going to right click right here and click save. And we'll be see you in our next video. Also, if you're interested in seeing the high definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. When we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.